Hello everyone, this is Kendrick Entrepreneur, and I just want to first give a shout out to a Lyft passenger I took this morning named Ryan. He um, is a cool guy. I gave him a ride and he is currently at the DMV. He's from New Jersey and he wants to become a Californian native. And all I have to say is welcome. We need more people like you in California because you have way too many jerks that it is. And if you are watching this while you're at the DMV, Please be advised, everyone who's watching this, I dropped him off six hours ago, and that should give you a pretty good idea just how terrible the DMV actually is. So I am deeply sorry that you're still over there, but hey, you know what? Again, thanks for watching. Anyway, let's talk about some legal stuff because that's what I came back to the stage for, right? To talk about the Google and Uber lawsuit. And the latest news is that Anthony Lewandowski, who you may recall, is at the heart of this whole legal matter. He's the one who allegedly stole the documents from Google that he brought to Uber and Uber allegedly used them in their technology. Well, he pleaded the fifth a long time ago. Like pretty much right when this thing started, he pled the fifth. And it should be noted, again, pleading the fifth does not mean you're guilty. It just doesn't mean it's very likely you're innocent because what would you have to hide if you're not guilty? Well, the judge of the case has basically stated that's not gonna work he can definitely be called to testify. He cannot hide behind the fifth in this one. Now, I sort of already alluded to that before, but the judge has actually taken like a much harsher stance. He actually seems really frustrated by how many people are not talking because Google CEO Larry Page, I believe it's Page, also didn't want to testify. And for that matter, Google co-founder Sergey Brin, if memory serves, Brin, he has been avoiding deposition, saying he's too busy, and the judge finally just lost it, and uh, he said, you know what, he better show up or else, and he issued a very similar warning to everyone else. Basically, he's at the center, and he's looking at all this information, and what he is seeing is a lot of people saying, oh, you did this, and oh no, they did that, but then key people don't want to talk. It's almost as if they have something to hide, and the judge is getting a little frustrated. I mean, especially from Uber's side, because Uber wants this to go to arbitration. They don't want to be public, and yet they are denying the judge key witnesses and key pieces of information that would actually largely get them to avoid going there. And the judge at this point probably feels like he's being played with. He is being played with, and there are games afoot. So he finally just issued a ruling, hey, you know, if you're called to deposition or to testify, you better show up. And I don't know what's going to happen if you don't show up. I assume it's not good. I assume it's really not good if the judge tells you to come to court and you don't show up to court. But that's where it's getting. Uh, basically, we might be hearing more and more information. In fact, we are going to hear more and more information. I am doing four videos today, probably five. And I'm going to say at least three of them are about this lawsuit because it got very petty and very real very quickly and i'm just glad that this happened after i had landed and not while i was in the air otherwise i would have been so stressed coming home i can tell you that right now but as always what do you folks think um do you agree with the judge disagree do you think the companies have anything to hide even google i'd love to know comment below like favorite share subscribe um, if you enjoy the videos, I may consider becoming a Patreon member for as little as a dollar a month or buying some swag from the Great Media Universe store. If you want to try driving for Uber or Lyft, there's a nice little sign-up bonus if you use referral links below. And also, special announcement, special announcement. Last I checked, I am two subscribers away from hitting 3,000 subscribers. So thank you all very much. But for 3,000 subscribers, I am going to do a live stream super chat with you guys. And I will, you know, do an announcement video to tell you exactly what we're gonna be talking about and we're gonna see how it goes, but people have been asking for a Super Chat feature and I finally tested it out while I was in Germany watching the OJ Simpson thing and I've taken the video down because it's a terrible video. It was never meant to be quality entertainment. It was funny to see people join the chat and they get really disappointed at nothing happening, so they left. But we will be doing that and we will do it properly this time when I hit 3,000 subscribers. So if you have any friends who haven't subscribed yet, tell them to subscribe. We're only two subscribers away, guys, and you can have a live chat. Should be fun. Oh, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.